Nuestro siguiente personaje es conocido en el arte de contar historias. Robert McKee es uno de los referentes internacionales en la enseñanza de creación de guiones de cine y televisión y su seminario recorre todo el mundo. Aprovechamos su visita a Bilbao para entrevistarle y preguntarle cómo será el futuro del guión en televisión. Está vinculado a la industria del cine y de la televisión, ya que muchos de sus alumnos han sido ganadores de Oscars y premios Grammy. Su libro y seminario El Guión está presente en casi todas las academias y universidades del mundo. Es profesor en el arte de contar historias y ahora, además, ha creado la primera red social en Internet para guionistas donde se comparten conocimientos y experiencias en este área. Pero nuestra primera pregunta es mucho más primaria que todo esto. Es quizás la pregunta que muchos nos hacemos. ¿Por qué el ser humano necesita que le cuenten historias? Well, uh, I think I mentioned in class, but um, it's always worth uh, repeating. Uh, in the words of, there was a great uh, critic back in the 1920s named uh, Kenneth Burke. And Kenneth Burke said, uh, stories are equipment for living. And he argued, and I agree, that without great storytelling, uh, life is virtually unlivable. And that you need stories, and you get them since you're the very, you know, the littlest of child. Uh, your mother reads you uh, fairy tales and uh, all, whatever. And as we grow up, uh, we come to understand life, and um, and how to to manage our days with other people, with ourselves, uh, primarily through storytelling. The life itself does not equip us to live. If we only had life and no art, um, all the arts, music painting but especially story if we only had life and no culture uh, we would uh, we would live in chaos we would be virtual animals again para crear historias es mejor obtener la inspiración de la vida real o de la imaginación real life does not inspire us I mean, the, between real life and us is a storyteller somebody who takes those events puts them into a form so that we can respond to it and understand it with, with, with real insight and, and real emotion. And so life itself is never an inspiration. It's the explanation of life that is the inspiration. ¿Cómo contaríamos entonces una biografía? Todo es ficción. Yeah, they're always fiction. <coughs> Everything is fiction. Everything is an interpretation of reality. I mean, there's a famous line from Shakespeare, I think Hamlet says, nothing is, but thinking makes it so. Reality itself is, has no meaning, it has, it has, um, it has uh, no sense, it just is. And it, it, it's necessary to interpret what is into the hows and whys, what is, is, what's going on underneath, what connects it all, what motivates it all. And um, uh, the life itself is 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 meaningless. Afirma que hace falta más que talento literario para contar historias. Literary talent is not enough. To be able to um, to use language beautifully is a wonderful talent, and um, it's certainly um, um, necessary to be a writer. But it is not the primary talent. Literary talent is the medium for expressing your vision of life. The great talent is story talent. To be able to take the events of life, your experience of life, and shape them into a beautifully meaningful, emotionally moving story. And then you use language to express that to other human beings. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las televisiones norteamericanas y las europeas? The, the, the majority of the networks in America are subscription. And so, instead of suffering commercials, we pay $20, $50 a month, or whatever it is, to be able to watch this wonderful television without commercials, okay? So we pay for that, all right? <coughs> uh, see, there's free television, but then you have to suffer commercials. 
and then there's paid television where it's commercial free and the majority of television now in America is uh, subscriptions paid um, and so there's only ABC, CBS, NBC and Fox um, nationally there's only four channels that actually have commercials the rest of them are virtually commercial free ¿Por qué decidió dar el salto a internet con Storylog? I think Storylog um, will be a, a huge asset, uh, an enhancement uh, for writers everywhere in the world that they'll have a place to meet, they'll be a place to learn, to think, <coughs> and to, um, and to uh, I hope, find inspiration. Every week we'll do a lesson that is an advanced lesson. Like the, the one way to think about it is that uh, the lectures that I give, the books that I've written, are like part one of a writer's education. Storylog is part two. It's the advanced part two of a writer's education. So we do these lessons, and there's a new lesson every week. But then I'm also very interested in the process of other artists, of our writers, directors, producers, um, and the whole process of the business of agents and lawyers and um, uh, uh, every kind of uh, dimension and aspect of, of the writer's life professionally. And so, um, and so I've done, I'm doing interviews with wonderful novelists and playwrights and screen and television writers and also actors and directors and, and uh, professionals of all kinds. Asking the question, how do you do what you do? ¿Cuál es su visión de futuro en el mundo del guión? Well, I, I, I believe that, um, that television over the 21st century will become uh, the dominant art form of storytelling for the world. And that there will always be cinema, there will always be theater, there will always be, of course, novels. I mean, these are great forms and they will go on and on as they always have uh, since the ancient Greeks, okay? And so there will always be these. But the the art form that will um, that will attract uh, great writers, giving them great freedom and a great length to develop characters and story into depths and breaths that um, other forms don't allow is television. <coughs> television uh, is uh, the the possibilities of storytelling on television are huge compared to other media. I mean, The Sopranos went on for nine years. Some television series like Law and Order go on for literally decades. And so this allows writers uh, to take um, characters like in Six Feet Under or Sex in the City uh, and explore them in this situation, put them on vacation, take them to work, put them in a... In, a, in Sex in the City, uh, Samantha, who's this wonderful a sexual creature was chasing men, right? At one point, uh, develops a lesbian relationship and brings out a whole new dimension of her character that way. And they can do that because this series is going to go on for years and so they, they want to take their characters into every possible corner of life that the writers can imagine and as a result, you get to see these characters in new situations constantly and you see how their, their character changes, evolves, is exposed under these new conditions. And so, and so television is a great medium for the exploration of life and characters to the absolute unlimited dimensions. And so writers are fascinated by the possibility and uh, the best of writers are attracted to, um, to television now in America and creating these brilliant TV series that the whole world wants to see because they have creative freedom, they can improvise, they can experiment, they can go into to the dark corners of human nature in ways and at length that they've never been able to before. And so television, I suspect, will become the dominant art form of storytelling in the 21st century. <laughs>